It was cold. It was the winter. It was the cold winter. So we decided to make lamb shakes. Yeah. This week on Working Class Foodies. Braised lamb shanks are a really great cold night dinner. It's really intensely rich and meaty and really savory. Most people when they think of lamb, think of lamb chops or the standing rib roast. And those are really good, but they're also really expensive. And what's so great about the lamb shank is that it's dirt cheap. It's a ton of meat, super rich, and it costs almost nothing. So the lamb shank is basically the lamb's shin and the meat on the calf. Lamb shank is the ultimate cut for a slow brace technique because there's a lot of connective tissue that needs to get broken down, which turns into succulent, tender meat. And another great thing about braising them is that you do it all in one pot, you just brown the meat, throw in some aromatic vegetables and some herbs, some wine, some water, cover it and stick it in the oven, forget about it for a couple hours, and it comes out beautiful, gorgeous, dark brown. It looks exactly like what you want on a cold winter day. Foodies, we're gonna take a quick break, but let us know what you think. Leave us a comment, rate the video, and make sure to subscribe to our channel. And hey, if you're enjoying Working Class Foodies, let the world know. Vote us Best New Show in the 2010 Streamies. You can vote once a day, and it only takes a couple seconds, so get to it. Megan from Bayonne, New Jersey. My mom makes eggs benedict in the morning, and she makes steak and hash browns with it. I've brought my friends over every Christmas, and so they visit every time just to eat it. It's really good. It's my favorite.
we served our lamb shanks with couscous, but it would be equally good with orzo or rice or potatoes or anything that just sops up those delicious meaty juices. That's kind of the entire point. Yeah. Um, there's so many ways to braise a lamb shank. You could do it in a tagine, which is the North African style. You can do it like we did with red wine. You could probably even do it with beer. And one of the great things about the dish is you could even do it the night before and the flavors will just build even more overnight. Slow braising is also a really great technique for short ribs or any tough cut that needs a lot, a, a long, slow process to break down the connective tissue. So the total cost for four lamb shanks was $18, which comes down to $4.50 per person. Share with us your favorite cold winter recipes. Or even just your favorite lamb or braising recipes, and we'll see you next week on Working Class Foodies. Are you looking for a good cocktail to go with today's lamb shanks, or maybe just a few new drink recipes for your next party? Check out 12 Second Cocktails right here on Hungry Nation for some delicious and speedy drink recipes from some of the country's best mixologists. Do it.